Hi guys, this is Ken with another set of um, UVM NTV questions. So what are we going to be covering today? Um, what is a M sequencer and what is a P sequencer? And uh, now you could get different variations of this these questions, which could be, can you tell me the difference between the two M sequencer and P sequencer? So we'll just go over the basics so that it that you understand what it is and at the same time uh, you are able to answer this question in any way it's given to you or asked of you what is a p-sequencer essentially it's a generic sequencer handle uh, which is available to all uvm sequences by default uh, this handle is typically of type UVM sequencer base. It gets initialized uh, when the sequence is started, um, you know, uh, either in uh, in another sequence, in a top level sequence, or a test. Um, when you say my sequence dot start, my sequencer, uh, this particular sequencer gets started or initialized, or um, you could also use the UVM2 macros, which ultimately end up executing the same commands. Uh, so this particular sequencer, uh, M sequencer, can be um, casted, or you can cast it to a user-defined sequencer, which is a P sequencer. And here we use a macro called UVM declare P sequencer. I'll go over a little bit more detail in the next slide what it is and how this happens. But essentially, the main th main thing to take from here is what is an M sequencer, which is basically always uh, a generic sequencer, which is always available uh, to all sequences by default, and it gets initialized when the sequence is started. So what is a P sequencer? P sequencer on the other hand is a user defined sequencer or a type specific sequencer. Uh, mostly, um, mostly when do you need it? You need it if a sequence needs to access various properties of class members and methods of a sequencer. A good example of this would be when you are trying to get an RTL response um, back and um, uh, from the depth, for instance, to execute next series of steps. So you probably have a blocking um, call uh, which is waiting for a response, and then basically the next uh, few steps are going to be executed once you have the response. So for that uh, purpose, a P sequencer is required. Um, again, this is a handle. How and however, the main distinction between this and the M sequencer is that it's not available by default to a UVM sequence. Um, when is it created? Essentially, uh, when you register a sequence to a sequencer, as we discussed earlier. Uh, again, the macro being used is the UVM declare P sequencer, which you declare within the UVM sequence. The above macro will automatically declare a piece sequencer handle of type sequencer type and it will uh, basically assign the internal M sequencer handle to the P sequencer handle. And then with that, you can easily access the response of the sequencer or any other method or property that you uh, need to access. All right, that's about it. Thanks, everyone. And I'll see you in the next video.